Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Look at this freaking nail polish. My cuticles are probably dry. This is DS Magic from OPI. This is such an old nail polish, but oh my gosh, I keep catching like my reflection or like I catch it in the mirror and I'm like, I forgot how pretty this was. It looks so like chrome. Oh, also, <laughs> I have a Christmas shirt on. <laughs> A little Griswold family Christmas. And I have a wet head, so I don't want to hear anything. Oh my god, Tiny Tim in the house. Okay, we're doing day six a little bit different. So I am going to post the highlighter, part one of the highlighter declutter that I filmed last week. And we're also going to do a giveaway. So this is the first of hopefully many Christmas giveaways. So what you're going to win is an Urban Decay Lip Bond. There's a little Laura Mercier lipstick. Rouge Ultime. Two Ofra lip glosses. Bye Bye Breakouts from It. A Milani Mascara. An LA Girl Cream Blush. And Flash from Ofra. Here, I'll show you the shade. There you go. Very pretty gold. Oh, you're going to see many highlighters in this video. Oh my gosh, there's so many good ones. And I'm going to put everything in that cute little makeup bag. So I'm. Um, it's pretty much going to be the same this year. You just have to post an emoji under the comments of this video. The emoji we're doing today is the snowman. So post the snowman emoji. I'll choose a winner in a few days. And whoever I choose, I'm just going to comment to you under these comments, and then you can email me your info. I feel like that's easier than everyone having to put, like, their Instagram handle. Some people are private, you know. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. We're going to get into the highlighter declutter, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven. Love you! We are gathered here today for highlighters, a video that I've already filmed and edited like 80% of, and then I realized that I didn't swatch enough. I tried to go back in and like, you know, and it just wasn't working. So I put everything back in this drawer the best way that I know how. We're gonna pretend that that never happened and we're starting from freaking scratch. I'm gonna get this in one take, and that's that. that that's just that. Last time I broke it up over a few days and it was just, it just wasn't great. I really have to do good because I use the same handful of highlighters just constantly. So this, this is just not okay. Let's go. Okay, maybe let's start with the creams and get them out of the way and then we'll carry on. Um, let me zoom you. Now, if I zoom too much, sometimes things get out of focus. So I have this Wander Beauty, um, this Nude Glow highlighter is one of my absolute, wait, where's my ring light? Oh my God, please hold. All right, pretending that never happened. So this little double Wander Beauty, one side, mother of God. One side is a gorgeous highlighter, Nude Glow. It is one of the best cream highlighters. It's so pretty. You guys love when I swatch everything, so we're going to carry on that tradition. It's just so natural and pretty. The formula is so, so good. Love this thing. And then the other side is a little petal pink blush. Definitely keeping just for the highlighter. Obsessed with it. One of my top faves. Another Wander one, this one is in Sundew, so this one is a little bit more gold. I just love Wander Beauty's cream formula. It's really good. Definitely keeping that. All right, I have a little basket. I'm going to put my keeps in there. Uh, this Urban Decay Prince one, this was obviously from the Prince collection. Liquid Face and Decolleté Illuminizer. Don't think I've ever used it, but it is very pretty. Like in the summer, I feel like that would be so pretty. You know I'm keeping it. You already freaking know I'm keeping it. Oh, this one's from the dollar store. Perfect Glow Highlighting Stick. What's the shade? Champagne Kiss. Wow. This one I think I can get rid of. It's pretty. 
it's not bad, it's really not, and it's only a few dollars, but with the amount of cream highlighters that I have, I just know that I would pass this up for something else. So I'm gonna part with that one. Okay, we have a few color pops. We have Spoon, which is very pretty. I do feel like I can get, did we ever finish eyeshadows? Did we ever go through all these pigments? Oh my God, we didn't. I just realized that I still need to film another part of the eyeshadow. Oh my God, sorry. I just, like that just like popped into my brain. Wow, I thought we were all done with the eyeshadows and we're not. Spoon, gorgeous, keeping. I'm sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little all over the place today. Probably entertaining, but not good for my brain. Parasol, this used to be one of my favorites. I mean, you can see, I used to wear this thing all the time. It's just so pretty. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh, my stars, I'm keeping. And I probably am getting out to wear. Flexitarian, this thing is like insane. It is very like loud. Oh, you see that? Oh my God, but honestly, so good. <gasps> Ugh, highlighters are gonna be the death of me. I love swatching freaking highlighters. Look at that. It's so like glossy and shiny and amazing. Yeah, it's freaking good. I'm getting those out to wear. I have this big Tarte Chrome paint. So this is like the little Tarte pots that we talked about in the eyeshadow. Declutter, it's not a cream. I don't know why I'm showing it now, but it's so messy. I never ever use it because it's so messy. So I am parting. We we have to part ways. I may just throw it away because I honestly don't feel like anyone is gonna even use this. It's just, it's a whole lot of drama. Oh, this Glossier Halo Scope. I got the wrong shade. The shade is Topaz, which I love because, <laughs> hello, Topaz. I hate the color. I just don't like it on me. I honestly might send this to my friend Deanna. She is a deeper skin tone. She might really like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do with that guy. So getting rid of that one. That can't be all the creams. Maybe it is. Maybe the rest are over in my vanity. I do have this. We talk about this in every declutter. This used to be a product from Jouer. Luminizing Body Glow. It smells like wildflowers. I've begged Jouer to bring this back. I'll give you a taste. I'll give you a taste. I'm keeping it. <gasps> that was so, that was so wasteful. I try to only use this like very sparingly because I love it so much. Oh, Nicole, what have you done? That was enough for like five uses. Wow, that's really upsetting. Look at this shit. Probably my most favorite like cream liquid kind of highlighter. I don't know why Jouer doesn't bring this back. And it smells incredible. Like one of the best things that Jouer has ever done. And it was limited. Like why Jouer? Why? Look at what I just wasted. I'm so I'm gonna put that on my arm so you can all just stare lovingly at it while I'm filming. I can't bear to just waste it. Can you even see that? Probably not, but I know it's there. Keeping for the rest of eternity. Why would you not want that to be one of your products? Like people would buy the crap out of that. I just don't understand. Frankly, I'm a little offended. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do Becca, because I see a lot of Becca in here. Or not, maybe just two. Okay, so we have Moonstone. This, no, this was not my original Moonstone. I must have gotten rid of that one. Oh, that's so pretty. I haven't worn that in years. I have to keep it. It's, it's Becca. I have to. Uh, Opal. This was my original opal, the first opal that I ever bought, one of my first ever highlighters, to be honest. I won't ever part with this. This is like very special to me. It holds a lot of nostalgia. 
I used to wear that every day. Every single day, it was my favorite thing. Lilac Geode. This was a limited one that they did. It's really pretty, it's kind of pinky. Like, not my ideal kind of thing. I'm not a pink highlighter girl. It's not, it's just not my thing. But I feel like I have to keep it, you know, you know. Vanilla Quartz, this one is so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be covered in a highlighter. It has this really cool, like, almost like a goldish, pinky, like, shift to it. It is so pretty. I love it. And then this is a little duo, Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. So definitely keeping, because I love Amaretto. And Prosecco Pop's really pretty. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too gold for me. I'm going to have to wipe off. But I mean, stunning. Nope. There's another Becca hiding. Oh, Champagne Pop. How could we forget about her? Absolutely am keeping. This is so good. I mean, you guys know the love that we all feel for Champagne Pop. Ugh. Oh God, Nicole, stop. Look how pretty I love her. Keeping, yes ma'am. Okay, uh, there's a couple NARS in here. So we have Fort de France, which is very pretty. I did have a moment where I was wearing this like a lot. Do you guys want me to swatch everything? Y'all are wild, but I love it. It's very natural and pretty. Uh, Vengeful, this was from the Stephen Klein collection. This is such a weird, it's almost like a green. It has like a green undertone, but when you swatch it, it's very pretty. Oh, that formula is freaking smooth as silk. And then Hot Sand and Laguna. Hot Sand is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I have this strewn all over my house. It's just so natural and perfect. It's one of the best highlighters you will ever find in your life, in my opinion. Okay, let's do some Ofra. I think this is where I can get rid of some stuff because I have a lot of Ofra. So we have Space Baby. This was a Nikki Tutorials one. And the reason I keep this one is for the cruise, because we go on a disco cruise, uh, we talk about this all the time, but this has the coolest like purple shift and it makes also a really nice eyeshadow. So I am gonna keep that one. Cloud Nine, also from Nikki. Now this one has like a pinky kind of shift. These are really great quality. Sometimes Ofra highlighters are a little bit too heavy, but the formula on these is really glossy and shiny and not too heavy. So I'm going to keep those two. Gumdrop. This one I'm getting rid of. I'm not a fan of like a yellow gold highlighter. So that one I will part ways with. Pumpkin pie. That's really pretty. Like it's very unique but not something for me. So I can get rid of that one. We have a little Rodeo Drive. I have so many Rodeo Drive highlighters in like little palettes and like a little trio. So I know I can get rid of this one. It's gorgeous, but I don't need it. Mother Earth. I don't even know what this is from. Oh, that is so cool. It kind of has like a a green shift. Oh, that's so pretty. I think that would be a really pretty eyeshadow or like inner corner. It's like kind of pink, kind of green. Oh, that is staying. Where did that even come from? It's not a Nikki one. Oh, I found another Becca one. Uh, Pearl Glow Luster Glow Powder in the shade Pure Pearl. These were so pretty, very natural. Like the formula, how can I explain these? The formula was very glossy, very shiny, which is what I go for in a highlighter. I hate when they're like heavy feeling, really like chunky, I hate that. Some people like that. And these on the skin, just like 
it was so natural, but it gave you that like a little bit of reflect. I wish this didn't have the pinkiness to it. I wish it was more champagne because honestly it would have been like one of my favorite highlighters ever. I love this formula and I am keeping this forever. I'm going to get that out to wear also. Oh, another O for one. Glow Goals. This was a Nikki one. And I had a love affair with this. Now, this is one of their, like, heavier ones. The formula is definitely, you can see, it's like a heavier formula. But the color, the color is just so nice. And I used to wear this as an eyeshadow. I am keeping that. I'm sorry. I'm not, I feel like I'm not doing great. Ofra, You Glow Girl. This was the collab they did with Dupe That. There's actually two of them. This is the other one, You Do You. You Do You is the one that I love. Love, love, love. This one I may be able to part with. Oh, but I love Dupe That, and I feel like I should keep it just like in memory. Not in memory. They're not like dead. But in memory of their collab, you know? That's going to be a maybe. I don't know, but this one, You Do You, I used to go so hard with this. It almost has like a peachiness to it. It's very, very pretty. Oh, that used to be one of my favorites. I went so hard with that for so long. I'm definitely keeping that one. The other one's a maybe. Is that it for Ofra? Okay, let's do these two Too Faced ones. The packaging is just so massive. Fancy Pink Diamond. These were so good though. Like formula-wise, these were so nice. Oh, that formula is just amazing, but I hate, absolutely hate the packaging. Oh, I think I'm keeping it though, and I know I'm keeping this one, Diamond Fire. This one is so gorgeous. You can use this as like an eyeshadow topper, as a highlighter. This one looks like that Nikki one that has like the little bit of purple to it. But the formula on the Too Faced one is even thinner. And it's, oh, it's just such a good formula. I've tried to get rid of this thing like twice and I always pull it back out and I'm like, I can't do it. Love Lux Beauty. I don't know what the colors are though. It, it doesn't say. It's just like this glorious gold. If you've never used anything from Love Lux Beauty, her powders, now they are a heavier formula. Like you can see, that's a little bit chunky. But when you blend it out, they are so reflective and blinding. Very, very pretty. I know that I'm never going to wear this though, so I am going to get rid of that guy. I have a peppermint candle burning, and it's like from the dollar store, but it smells so good. The candle sale, I think, is this weekend for Bath & Body Works, and the excitement that I feel in my body is unnatural. I cannot wait. I'm running so low on candles right now that I'm burning like these backup little extra ones from the dollar store. Kind of bomb, though. Kind of bomb. Another Love Lux Beauty one. I wish I knew what the shades were. Wait, are the shades inside? No, they both say Shine Bright. This one is a little bit lighter. Oh my god, there's, oh shit, there's like vape smoke everywhere. I'm so sorry. I tried to sneak it and I totally got busted out. I mean, look at that. Holy shit. That's, uh, that. I don't, I don't even have words. Oh my God. I forgot how good these were. I'm keeping that one. I could not get rid of that. Are you seeing that? Wow. And the formula on this one, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't feel as chunky as the other one, which I love. Oh, another ColourPop one on the cusp. Oh my God. I used to love this one. I haven't worn these in a very long time. I've really been I've really been sticking to the same makeup, but holy lord. I love you. Oh, I'm getting that out to wear. I would dip my entire body in that if I could. It is absolute perfection. Oh my god, I love you. I'm so sorry that I've I've neglected you. That ends today. I think I swatched this one in the last in my first attempt at this video because I don't remember losing my shit over it. Oh my God, that's, just look at that. 
Who wouldn't want that? Oh, round of applause. Okay, Rude Cosmetics, all eyes on me. I know that I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm not a huge fan of a baked powder. Like, it just doesn't have a lot of payoff. Rude Cosmetics does do some decent stuff, but this highlighter was not one of my favorites. It's just not, it doesn't give enough, and what you do get, there's a lot of, like, shimmer. So, I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Okay, Wet n Wild Precious Petals, one of my favorites from Wet n Wild. It's just the perfect little color. It has a little pink, a little peach, a little champagne. Gorgeous. And then Golden Flower Crown. This one is more gold. The formula on this one was better, though. This formula was more, like, glossy. Very pretty. Do I need that, though? Like, I could probably get rid of that one. Am I really going to get rid of Golden Flower Crown? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna. Uh, is that it for Wet n Wild? No. Oh, my favorite Wet n Wild. What is this called? Oh, Boozy Brunch. I despise the packaging. It's way too big and it makes me not want to use it. But this was one of my favorites. I used to wear this all the time. You guys have to remember this one if you've been with me. I used to go ham on some Boozy Brunch. Yes, I said ham. I feel like I have to keep it, but... Wet and Wild, I know you're not watching, but listen to me. Boozy Brunch in like this packaging size. Or or this size. Oh, that would be ideal. Just this is so massive. We don't we don't want it. I don't want it. But I'm keeping it. So I do want it. Tony just got home. He's clomping around upstairs, so excuse that. He's a big boy. He's six seven. He's he's clomping. Okay, let's do some Anastasia. Uh, Starlight. These are old. I've had these things forever. I don't know why they don't do these anymore, because if you're fair, that is one of the best highlighters that I've ever found for fair skin. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm keeping it. So Hollywood. This was the one that I used to really get freaking down with. Anastasia can do a highlighter. I will give them that. Where are we going to go? This has like the feeling of Amrezy, which we're going to get to. Probably my favorite highlighter of all time. It has the feeling. Actually, it really has the feeling. I might get that out to wear. Oh my God. I forgot how good that was. Yeah, you're coming home with mama. Um, okay, let's do these two Laura Geller Rose Glow very pretty. This is like a more subtle highlighter in my opinion. That's such a pretty just like delicate little pinky shade. I like that. I need to get that out to wear. Uh, what else? Where's the others? Oh, these two. So we have Rosado and Prosecco. This is Rosado. It's kind of pinky. I don't love it. Tara gave me this she ordered from Laura Geller's website. Oh, we were doing Laura Mercier. Oh, anyway, she was ordering these from the website. She tried to order, I think, the champagne one, and they kept sending her the pink one. She ended up with, like, three of these. She gave it to me. Not my favorite. That can go. Prosecco is very pretty, and I did wear this for a while. But, I mean, in the grand... In the grand scheme of things, like, it's not one of the best, so I'm also going to get rid of that one. Um, okay, back to Laura Mercier. Indiscretion. These are so cool, aren't they? I just, I don't ever find myself grabbing for this. I feel like it's a little bit dark for my skin tone, other than in the summer when I'm, like, super tan. I think I might get rid of that one. I don't think I need that. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, here's another Laura Geller. Oh, Gilded Honey. If you've been with me, you know the love affair. I mean, the chokehold that this had on me for literal years. I will never part with this. This holds so much nostalgia for me. Probably my first ever, like, 
true gold highlighter addiction. The only other one that I went so wild for was Oh Darling. And we might as well just kind of segue to Oh Darling. Do you guys remember when this came out and I drove to Philly, which is like two hours away from me, and I, I bought a lot. And then my aunt <laughs> sent me a lot. I put a lot of them in giveaways, um, but I kept one. And she is still the, the love of my life freaking love of my life. We're gonna have to wash off. Oh my god. One of the best true gold highlighters. I mean just the formula, just everything about it. Everything about it. The limited edition packaging. Ooh. <sighs> I'm getting a little worked up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to settle down. I'm gonna wipe off but there's one final Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. That is a good hand. Okay, continuing on. Let's do Jouer. Citrine, my favorite Jouer highlighter. They're just so fragile. But I mean, oh, the formula. The formula is everything I ever want in a highlighter. Glossy, shiny, reflective, so smooth. I can't even explain it, but if you've ever felt a freaking Jouer highlighter, you know what I'm talking about. It's so good. Uh, Skinny Dip, another, another love. I mean, Jouer highlighters are just, wow. So good. So damn good. I love the mini ones, too. This was like a little holiday thing they did. Rose Gold, we had a moment. We really had a moment. I, oh my god, I usually don't like anything with like pink in it, but this one was like gold with, like it, it's thinking about pink, but the pink is not fully there, which I love. And then we have Topaz. Ice must be over in my vanity. Topaz is a little bit deeper. Oh, the freaking formula though. <sighs> I love them. I love them so much. Wow. That is a well-made product. I just... Mm, mm. Oh, and then we have a big topaz. I mean, come on, Nicole. You can get rid of that. The thing is, like, I would send this to my friend D. I know it's going to break in the mail. But I will get rid of the big one because I have the mini one. Um, is that it for Jouer? No, we have one more. A big rose gold, Nicole. Alright, I'll get rid of this one too, but this was like, I feel like this packaging is, okay, it's the same. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, um, MAC Snow Flushed. Look, just feast your eyes. This was limited edition maybe two Christmases ago, I can't remember, but... It's so cool. I don't wear it as a highlighter, but I have worn this as like an eyeshadow topper and it is divine. It is freaking divine. I'm getting that out. I'm getting that out. Look at my finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so good. You're not even getting like the full. <laughs> oh, yes, Jesus, yes. Okay, let's do these two Girlactic ones. Luster, very pretty, a little pinky. I'm really breaking my pink rule here. You know, I'm never going to wear that. That is way too pink for me, so I will get rid of that one. And then see-through, very pretty, a little bit dark for me. I have put this in the donate pile many times and then I swatch it and I'm just like, Nicole, how could you even think about getting rid of it? The, the formula is so good. That's going to be a maybe. That's a maybe and that. Okay. Um, Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in 01. So this is the more pinky one. I have a lot of pink highlighters for saying that I don't like pink highlighters. I, you know, I think I can get rid of that one. 
I'll probably pull it out, but for now we're going to say I'm getting rid of it. Pop Beauty Ultraviolet Light. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't... No, I don't need that. Nope, that one can go. Don't love that formula, to be honest. But this one, Gilded Light, this formula is incredible. It is really good. It's crazy to me how one can have such an amazing formula and the other one is just like, meh. That is great. I, I will keep that. Give Me Glow Slay Me. This is probably the most pigmented highlighter that I've ever owned. Okay, let me get a finger. A little swipe. <laughs> She's not playing. She's not freaking playing. But it is chunky. Like, you have to use a light hand with this. She's a chunky monkey. But wow. If you want the glow, she will give you the glow. That's a maybe. I don't know. I just feel like it it's really cool. But I I don't I don't ever wear it. Oh, this elf, uh Nabella Noor, they did a collab. This is probably my most favorite loose highlighter of all time. It is so damn beautiful. That's way too much. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, so she's right there, that little circle right there. It's it's so pretty, and it has just a little, like, twinkle of shimmer in it. Amazing. Amazing. Should have been a permanent product. I don't know if they do have this in their line, and it's just called something else, but this thing should be freaking permanent. It is, like, why do they always make the limited edition stuff the best stuff? I just, it blows my mind. One of my favorites in my entire collection, Pixie Subtle Sunrise. These duos from Pixie are on another level. You'll see the other one when we get to my vanity. They are the epitome of glossy and freaking shiny. They are so good. You have to use a light hand. That was one swipe. Incredible. Probably the best thing that Pixie has ever done are these duos. And if you don't own one of them, you have to put it on your Christmas list. They're so good. Look at my fingers. Oh my God. Okay, uh, this little Fenty Hustler baby. Remember when people went like ape shit over these? I really don't think there's anything special about this. Like, it's a gold highlighter. It's pretty. There's nothing, like, mind-altering about the formula. It's okay. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't ever wear it. I don't need it. Uh, Milani 01. These are really nice. Now, this is the more pink one. I don't really wear this one. I wear the other one that's more like champagne. Yeah, that can go. I'm going to get rid of that one. I think we're doing pretty good. This little J-Cat triple, it's technically an eyeshadow, but I wear it as a highlighter. Uh, Dulce de Leche. This thing is good. I'll just give you like a little down the middle swipe. It's good. It's very, very pretty. Can you see that? Do I need it, though? Like, I haven't worn this thing in so long. I think I might be able to get rid of that. I used to really love this, but with the amount of highlighters that I have, like, I have to get rid of stuff. Oh, my God, a baby champagne pop? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm keeping it. Persona Zuma. This is very pretty. I did try to get rid of this, and I pulled it back out. The formula on this is a little chunky, though. It's not the, like, shiny, glossy. It's a little powdery. It's very pretty, though. But listen, with the amount of highlighters I have, I'm getting rid of that one. Oh, this may have been my first ever highlighter. The Stila Kitten Duo. Ow. 
what the heck? <gasps> okay. I used to love this thing so much. I used to just do a little mix. Let me give you a little bit of both. I mean, it's really not that great. So there's one and there's the other. Like, it's really not that good. But I have to keep it for the rest of my life because it it is very, very nostalgic for me. You guys know that I'm nostalgic with makeup. Uh, makeup Forever Star Powder in, I don't, I have no idea. There's no, like, name on it. It's very pretty. I'm not even going to dip in there because I'm going to get it everywhere. It's like a little pinky. I'm keeping it. I love the Makeup Forever Loose Powders. Uh, Cover FX Moonlight. I just love that this is like a baby size. That's why I've kept it. Because the formula is just, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's pretty good. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need that. I'm going to, I'm parting with it. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so shiny. It's so freaking shiny. Can you see that? I can't really see what's happening. It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. And the packaging, oh yes. Uh, Tarte, I don't know what this is. There's no name on the bottom. Do I need it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can I can get rid of that. It's decent, but well, I don't know. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Oh my god, look at this little Becca Rose glow. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm keeping it. I have to. This is a ColourPop one. I don't know what it I have no idea what the name is, but it's really good. I know that doesn't help anyone with anything. The formula one, it's so nice though. I used to wear this a ton. I have not worn it in a very, very long time, but I do want to keep it. I don't have a lot of, a little? I don't have a lot of ColourPop like powders. I have a lot of ColourPop little, like the Super Shocks. Um, Disney House of Sillage. Oh, this is the blush and highlighter duo. I love the blush. It's so soft and pretty. I actually kind of want to get that out to wear. But the highlighter leaves a lot to be desired. It's powdery. I feel like they wanted it to be like the Hourglass Ambient Powders where it was like very soft and subtle, but all you get is like powder. It's, I do not love the highlighter at all. But the blush is very pretty and like Mickey. It's cute. I'm keeping it. Oh, you need your little house. And then Makeup Geek Rekindle. The only one that has made it through. I used to have every single one of Makeup Geek's highlighters. I've gotten rid of all of them except for Rekindle. I actually might have one more over in my vanity. I could be lying. That's a little too pink for me. I am going to part with that even though it's Makeup Geek. And there are no more, which is very sad. Okay, so we made it through the backup drawer. Now we just need to do what's up at my vanity. So I feel like we did pretty good. I'll show you at the end everything that we're getting rid of. I'm going to get this organized and then we'll hop up to my vanity. There's where we are at. I like to have everything laid out so I know it just looks like disarray. But if I don't see things, I will not use them. So, she's fine. She's fine. As soon as I shut the drawer, everything just goes flying anyway. All right, now let's go through my everyday highlighter drawer even though I use a handful of highlighters. These are the ones currently that I have at my vanity. So let's start like last time with the liquids. I have a lot of cream and liquids in here. So I have this Say One. This is the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It's freaking beautiful, but like I'm oily. Who do I think I am? Oh wow, that was a lot. Hold on. But look how pretty this is. 
it's gorgeous. Like if you have dry skin, honestly, put this on your entire body. It's so pretty. How I wish that I could put this all over my face, but I cannot. Um, I can't even really wear it as a highlighter because it's just a little bit too dewy, hence the name. Um, I don't even know why I have it, but it's so pretty I can't get rid of it. I absolutely will not get rid of it. This does also get really good reviews, so if you are on the drier side, would recommend. If you're oily, just don't even bother, unless you're like me and you just want to look at it and think about how pretty it is. Okay, we have the Merit Highlighting Balm in Kava. This is, again, so pretty. This one's really pretty, and I do wear this one, and it, this one, again, would probably be better suited for dry skin. Like, if you're dry, you would love this, but I can wear it and get away with it. Usually, I will put a powder on top, but look how it's just so natural and pretty, and it looks like you're, like, glowing from within. Really good one. And then you guys already saw the Nude Glow from Wander. This one just has the Nude Blush on the other side. I freaking love this. I love it. And then we have the Chanel Balm Essential in the shade Sculpting. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember who I saw talking about this. And immediately I went on and bought it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is the like ultimate like girl next door model makeup where you want a little bit of that glow but you don't want it to look like you piled highlighter on. This is the product. It is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Again, better suited for dry skin because it is a little bit like balmy but I do think the Merit one is more emollient. So between the two, if you're oily, I would say probably the Chanel one. I don't know. They're close. But, oh, that Chanel one, like, the glow that it gives you is just so perfect and just natural and subtle and amazing. Uh, NARS Hot Sand Illuminator. This, in the summer, I put all over my body. It is very, very pretty. Oh, I love this. It gives the perfect glow. I don't like it on my face, though. I like this on my body. But if I were dry, I would honestly put this all over my face. The formula is so nice, it's not greasy, and it just makes your skin look, I mean, just perfect. Like you're drinking all your water, you're just, you're so happy that you're just glowing. But in all honesty, you've had one glass of water today and you're kind of depressed, but you look like you are on, you're on top of the world. We have a little MAC strobe cream. I feel like everybody knows what this looks like, but sure. I mean, we've come this far. We might as well stick with it. Oh, it is honestly so gorgeous. Wow. Ugh, so pretty. I have to get rid of some of these, just FYI. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD in shade 30. Maybe we can get rid of this one. Oh, this is just like so natural and gorgeous. See, they all just, oh, I love when it's like a natural glow. I don't know. That's a maybe, but I, I really don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to. Celestial uh, from Wander Beauty. So the bottom part has like a, a cream highlighter, which, I mean, it's decent. I don't ever use it. Maybe I could get rid of this one because I really, truly do not use this. And then you also have... A little liquid. I did wear this over this. Oh, hold on. Let me shake it. She's giving grease. <laughs> See it there. Very natural, but I cannot imagine putting this on my face because, <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit more greasy than some of the other ones I have, but on the body, wow, it looks very pretty. I'm going to wipe myself off so we're not just turning into one giant liquid illuminator. Then we have the number seven skin illuminator in, oh, there's no shade. Maybe I should shake these. Let me give them all a little shake shake. There's no reason for me to have all of these. 
I mean, I wear them on my body, but like really, two would suffice. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? I think I will get rid of that one because I usually don't grab for that one. I grab for like NARS Hot Sand or this LA Girl one that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to get rid of the number seven. Uh, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I do. Oh, Light Glow. This is gorgeous. And how I wish, again, that I could put this on my face. Like, look how beautiful this is. Now, this one is a little bit more like bang in your face. <gasps> wow. Wow. Oh my God. <sighs> Why do I have all of these? Just for my body, okay? This is the body portion of the video. LA Girl Luminous Glow in the shade Sunlit. This one I love. I love it. And I do see a lot of people wear this on their face. And it, oh, <gasps> it's broken. Did you see, I hope that, are you kidding me? When did that happen? I used this over the summer and it was fine. It has a hole in the freaking side. Wow. Okay, well, let me wipe like 85% of this off. Hold on. Oh, that's such a waste. And I really like this one. Okay, here we go. We're really going to be glowing. But if you want like a glow, like this is not like, oh my gosh, did she put something on her face? This is like, oh, she put it on and she's freaking a bronze goddess. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We'll not get rid of packaging's broken. I don't care. I'm not getting rid of it. I love it. I will get rid of this. The RMS Magic Luminizer. I'm disappointed in this. I Now I've had this for a while, but I swear like three months after I bought this, it was already so dry. Like look, it's giving Sahara. It's giving nothing. Like this was not cheap. And I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. Like what I wanted it to do it didn't do because it was only, it only felt right for, I don't know, like a month or two. And then I swear it got so dry. Oh, it's so pretty though. Like I really want to love it. I just really don't want it to be dried out. Maybe I can play around with it and like scrape the top layer off. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. We have a little baby benefit. What's up? How cute is she? I love this highlighter. I will love this highlighter forever. The formula is so good because if you're oily, you can wear this one. It's not emollient. It's not greasy. It gives you the color, but you don't feel anything on your face. And it's so pretty. The little one does it for me, though. Like, I've had this thing forever, and I swear it's going to last for eternity. Then I have a mini uh, Hourglass Champagne Flash. This one's also really pretty. Would I buy the big one? I don't. I don't think so. You guys are going to see my favorite cream highlighter. Nothing tops it. So like I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that's really pretty. But I know I'm always going to pick my favorite. So this baby one does it for me. Okay, so we didn't do very well with the creams. I'm going to get rid of Celestial. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and the number seven one. I'm going to get rid of that also. And the RMS. So I mean, not terrible. Okay, I have this uh, Marc Jacobs. This is one of the absolute best liquid highlighters of all time. Do you do drops? This stuff. Now, this is for the people that want to beam. And I love in the summertime to mix this with a moisturizer and just put it everywhere. It is wow. Look how, look how gorgeous that is. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The tone is perfect. It's gold, but it's not too gold. Oh my gosh. I love it. I've worn this on my face, my body. I mean, I can't say enough. You can't get it, which is so sad because honestly, one of the best. <sighs> Marc Jacobs, where did you go? Okay, I think that's it for creams and liquids. So we have the Victoria Beckham highlighter in Modern Mercury. I searched for this and I finally found it 
at a CCO in Philly when I was at Aaron's and we were like so excited. This thing is, I mean, worth every penny. It was worth the hunt. I will tell you that. Look at that glow. I do usually wear this as an eyeshadow or in the summer. In the winter, this is too dark for me, but oh, the, like the packaging. Are you kidding me? It's so like high class, just like Victoria. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I have the Laura Mercier Celestial Light. So it's a translucent powder, but it's like a glowy one. And it's really pretty. I really like this one. I think, where am I going to put this? Okay, I'll put it here. It looks kind of crappy when I swatch it, but this looks really, really pretty on the face. You can take like a big fluffy brush and just kind of dust a little all over your face or you can concentrate it more. Very pretty. Very nice. Very nice. We like her. Okay, let's do our little palettes. We'll get this guy out of the way first. The Glow Getter palette from Private Society. I don't know anything about, about this brand. They randomly sent me this. These are so good. The formula on these powders is really nice. Can you even see that here? Let me, hold on. Let me wipe myself off and then I'll swatch. So this is my favorite one, Trophy Wife. It's just so pretty. Like they're glossy, they're shiny, they're everything I want in a highlighter. And I like that you have like so many different tones in here. They're very pretty. It's a good palette. I love it. And then we have, this was a limited edition palette, the Stila Starlight Star Bright. I only ever wear Kitten. And, oh, I love her. These have the weirdest feel because they're kind of like a cream but also kind of powdery, but I mean the glossiest like model highlight that you could ever want. I mean, again, it just looks like you're glowing from within. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. I freaking love it. Sorry, <laughs> I just had a moment. I, I love. The other two are pretty. You have like a little bronzy and then like a pink. Don't love the pink. It's a little ultraviolet. Kitten. Kitten is always the one from Stila. Uh, the Hyper Real Glow from MAC. This is the, this is the more like rose gold one. There's a gold and then there's a rose gold. These are good. These are like a heavier, heavier kind of highlighter. But I mean the glow that they give is wow. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Believe Beauty. A little dollar store action on cloud nine. Shade in the middle. It is, oh my god, it is really good. Look how blinding that is. But the formula is, I'm repeating myself, gloss, reflective. It's not powdery. It's not like chalky. They are so nice. And it, this is like $5. Amazing. Amazing. This is an oldie but a goodie. The Nutcracker um, Sweet Peach. Yeah from MAC. I love Tutu. Can you get Tutu in a single? Do not know, but oh my god. If I want something like a little bit more white, oh, it's amazing. And the blush, also gorgeous. We're not doing very well, but I knew I wasn't really going to get rid of any of this stuff. Bonk Bonk. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the world. The Bonk Disable from NARS. This was limited edition. This is the best thing that NARS has ever done besides the crystal powder. Oh my God, I just love that. I don't know, there's something about it. There's just something about it. It's gold, but it's also like, has like a little hint of peach and on your face. I get more compliments on this highlighter than any other highlighter. I swear, whenever I wear this, someone's like, oh, what highlighter do you have on? And then I have to break their heart. It was limited edition. There is something about Bonk Bonk that just, I, I would die for her. I would die for her. The Charlotte Tilbury Duo, Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's pretty. I wear this when I want a little bit more of a natural highlight because this is very natural on the face. 
but like right up my alley. That's the kind of highlighter that I love. Now the formula, I don't wanna say it's powdery, but I feel like it could be a little bit glossier, but I do like it. I wear it quite a bit. Should we talk about the Queen? This is my most favorite highlighter. I don't think anything will ever, ever, ever top this. The Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. You guys know how I feel about Amrezi. I met her and the night that I met her, I had met some other influencers who were quite rude to me and I was kind of feeling down. And then I met Amrezi and she was the warmest, most genuine, kindest person. She had no reason to be there. There were no cameras around. Nobody was filming anything. She was wonderful. And I will support her in anything that she does for the rest of eternity. She was so kind to me. It, it just, it made an impact on me. It really did. I love her. Anyway, and I just so happen to love this highlighter more than any other highlighter. It is so good. Why was this limited edition? Like, Anastasia, you could be making so much freaking money off of this. It is the best thing. It is the best gold highlighter that you will ever find, that I will ever find. It's reflective. It's blinding without being too much. It's, it's perfect. You guys probably are tired of hearing me talk about it because I always talk about this when I refer to any highlighter. This is the bar. This is the bar that I compare everything to. This is my pride and joy. And I would like for them to bring this back. Like, how could they do that to us? I'm gutted, to be honest. But just look at that. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, ah! Oh. And Amrezi, I love you. If you didn't get that from the first part of that. Uh, Double Gleam from MAC. This is gorgeous. I can't turn this over because she will... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> She's done a little peekaboo. This is very pretty when I'm feeling pale and I want something like vanilla. This kind of has Jouer Ice vibes, but a little bit different. But a lot, and they're in the same family. They're cousins. It's gorgeous. I love you, Mac. I will love you forever. Uh, Mac Soft and Gentle. This is the one that I wear the most. This is just perfect. Now, do I wish I could get my hands on the original Soft and Gentle? This is a very old one, but this is not the original. The original one was just, oh my god. It's so good. It's soft and subtle, but it still gives you a little bling bling. It's like the best of both worlds. It never lets me down. Just always does me right. Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion number two. So you saw the pink one that I actually think I'm getting rid of. This is the more gold one. This one's very pretty. Um, I think, oh, it is very pretty. I was gonna say maybe I can get rid of it because like Amrezi, they are very similar. I mean, extremely similar in color and formula. I probably would say that's the best thing I have in regards to Amrezi. It's probably the closest dupe that I have. So why would I get rid of it? <laughs> I had, a, I had a moment, okay, I'm back on track. Okay, sweet angels, I'm gonna end it there. Let's just go through our maybes. I think these were the only maybes. So, Galactic See-Through. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. The formula is just a little bit chunkier than I would like, and it's a little bit too dark for me, so we'll give her to a good home. Uh, this Tarte one that I don't know the name of, I think... What do I want to do? I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, I don't need that. It's not that great. Uh, give Me Glow. Oh my god. It's just so cool. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And then we have, oh, the dupe that. You Glow Girl. I think I can get rid of the pink one. I'm going to keep the peachy one, which is the one that I really like. So I'll part with this one. So we're getting rid of everything in my maybes except for Give Me Glow. That's not too bad. Okay, don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you guys stuck it out and made it till the end, wow, I'm proud. 
Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Nails! I'm feeling very bougie today. Bourgeoisie. Remember the brand Bourgeois? Do they still exist? I still like them a lot. Okay. so hard. I feel like words have just escaped my brain. These disco balls are so cute. I think I want to get a disco ball tattoo, but I've seen some really bad ones. But I think it'd be so cute. Ugh. Okay, so for our maybes, I'm going to... Okay, so I think I'm going to cut it here. Let's just go through the maybes real quick. Like, this video is already like an... Oh! Oh!